our resource speaker. I know he is excited. He's extremely ready. That's why let me introduce our resource speaker teacher at Raffles Christian School, Jakarta, Indonesia. Right? And of course, he's been teaching physical education for 17 years. Okay? And take note because this is the topic that he's about to discuss this afternoon. He is a former national street baller. All right? And he has a passion in coaching and being a teacher. We love teaching the young or let's say the kids. I was able to build a friendship with this man last year conference and it's continuing now and napakadali naming mag-usap whenever there are things that we want to discuss we just we just chat no and whenever we're free we call i would like to introduce our uh international physical education uh featured teacher for this afternoon who will be giving a topic about incorporating street ball wow no skills in pe lesson all the way from Jakarta, Indonesia. Let's give a round of applause to our resource speaker, Mr. Ramat Salih Sarlis. All right, I call him Sir Max, right? Coach, yes. how are you this afternoon? I'm all good. I'm all good. Thank you so much. I thought I'm going to be late. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I was in a rush, actually. So, so sorry for the last minute. It's was okay. it last minute? No, last minute, right? Yeah, I know. How, how many hours? The difference, two, right? Two, two hours. Yeah, yeah two I, hours. I need, I need to, I need to adjust the time. Next, yeah. but next, but next year conference. I was hoping, I'm hoping to, to be invited again. <laughs> yes, we are. Whenever there's an opportunity and you are free, onefised.th is always your home. Awesome. <laughs> All, right. All right. So. Mabuhay, fellow PE teachers in Philippines, and I'm hoping to see also Indonesia, Indonesian PE teachers also, uh, because I share the link also. I share the link. I share the um, the poster last I'm time. I'm going to share screen. Is that okay, Mr. J? Yes, yeah, you I'm, may was, now share okay. because uh, I already added you as co-host. Okay, thank you so much. All right. Uh, I'm not saying this is uh, against our PE curriculums. But this can be still related to the topic, the skills topics that uh, we have in our PE curriculum, especially basketball. So I did some uh, modification when it comes to my PE lessons. So in the end of the in the end of this, you will see the students' outputs. Yeah, how many coaches? How Great. many bas- Yeah, how many basketball coaches do we have here? Because. Uh, I think they might ask me question or they will be questioning me because oh yeah Mr. Yes, Mr. Mr. Guzman yeah yeah I, yeah his picture okay. is uh, he's coaching basketball right? yeah okay now I, I need to make some uh, announcement quick disclaimer this is a reminder for our basketball coach yeah for our basketball coach again I know the street basketball it's quite uh, what do you call this? Um, way, way from the fundamentals basketball. But my idea is to have the kids uh, to what do you call this? To motivate them in some different approach. Time ago, but it just going. It just what do you call this? It's getting hype now. It's going. Uh, it's going to be more like into trend center of games. Into some of the good players is actually coming from this court, this rocker part. I introduced them to the skills first and then I jumped into the uh, interactive game on YouTube and it actually worked they are all engaged okay more on theory again okay this is where I okay that is the time where I showcase a bit my skills so that they are a little bit wow mr. Maggie you're awesome you know you that kind of a show off, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, now this is where the part that I 
ask them to uh, watch the slide. Okay, I'm gonna skip that part. This is where I also uh, uh, guide them when it comes to dribbling. The fun part will be this one. Uh, as soon as you introduce them to the skills and then you know a bit a uh, uh, showcase to them and then they showing an interest, then the best part. Filipino kids that uh, apply some of the skills that I trained them since uh, grade one. Hi, my name is Joe. I've known Mr. Max as my first teacher. I've been working with him since grade one. He's also been my first school coach. He's an amazing coach. He's taught me everything I've learned so far. He's guided me to be the best player I can be today. He also taught me how to be Malua pa Bosco, 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 Malua pa Bos, Bosco, 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 Malua pa Bos, Bosco, 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 Malua pa Bos, Bosco, 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 Bosco. Woo! I was I was actually shocked when. When he actually pulled that kind of move during the competition, and he actually broke some ankles. There. I'm a proud coach. I, I was I was almost crying to see that skills uh, applying in that game situation. Okay, now go back to the PE lessons here. Uh, this is where the output of the students, where they they learn some of the skills and the techniques during uh, the PE lessons. Okay, this is the process one day one, their projects, and until end of the uh, lessons where they get to perform. Cell phone in, soon as you land, you say it's all me. Ain't all G with him no more, you ain't entertained. Since I met you a couple months ago, you ain't been the same. Not saying I'm the richest man alive, but I'm in the game. As long as you keep it 100. The last of my video presentation. Uh, can you still hear Mr. J? It says yes. here my connection is unstable. Yes, I've witnessed the performances of your students. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was actually shocked when they, they actually uh, managed to have the project with a short time um, and yet they actually uh, you know accomplish actually all the all the meeting standard and projects as well so again mr. J I think that's the end of my presentation again let me just remind and emphasize this to the basketball coach because I know it's a bit uh, uh, out, out of the box when it comes to the basketball context but we can actually select and make it more interested, make it more entertainment for the kids. And you know, uh, even under the sun, you know, under the sun, that is actually after lunch time, they still want it's to perform. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, they still want to perform and showcase their skills because that's how actually we, we, we our goal as a teacher to make them curious about you know some some lessons some uh, lessons that we have you know teach uh, taught them right. So that's that's the idea. Maraming salamat. Thank you. I think I'm done. And keep in touch. That is my uh, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Please support me. <laughs> wow, of course, as always, your creativity really reflects on the kind of physical activity you provided in your class. And of course, uh, personally, what I appreciate here is that, of course, there will always be standards, right? right? There will always be standards. But sometimes when we want to be more creative with what we want to, imp uh, to implement to our students, we need to go out of the usual That's and right. try to explore Agreed. more. But in the end, you mentioned that the main goal is to allow students to move, uh, to do physical activity and do something which, of course, uh, maybe not an ordinary physical activity that they are doing. And I'm really proud of your our resource speaker. Allow me to read what's in the certificate. Certificate of Recognition is hereby awarded to Mr. Ramat Sarlis, Coach Max, for generously sharing his expertise as resource speaker during the featured PE teacher webinar series in the team, creating meaningful physical education learning experience in the new normal. On the 71st episode title, Incorporating street ball, Basketball Skills, the PE lesson via One Fisted YouTube channel in Zoom, Awarded today, 23rd of October, 2021. Signed yours truly, Coach JR. And of course, the technical manager, Coach Joshua Ben Villarreal. And last miss, Hazel Carmen, our programs and events manager. All right.